is the book of Ezekiel 3, verse, seven, verse 1. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them. First and foremost, I want to give out honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakadash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, Ruel. Shalom to the whole like men that scattered abroad, you know, pushing the truth without sincerity. Right, and shout out to a few sisters that's getting orchard these last days. I come with you with a quick video, you know, blowing the horn, right? The time of our salvation, the Israelite, so called Negro, Latino, Native American, Indian, right? Our salvation is near, right? The Lord gave us, um, well, like it stated right here, right? We ate, we'll eat, He gave us the spirit to eat the whole roll, right? The dark sayings, everything that we're supposed to know to warn the flock, right? So now here we have it, we're close to, to, uh, salvation and we see an uprising in in the wars you know right like like it states inside the book of uh matthew 24 right three on down you know so we we, we out here blowing the horn giving that indication sound right it's time to, it's time to wake up man it's time to, it's time to ret return back to your how about shimmy i was shot while that door of mercy is still open you know and that's the video that you know we bring out each and every you know week Right. Blowing the horn, blowing the horn. Why? Because, hey, it's going to be a period of time where you won't be able to find the men of the Lord. Right. You won't be able to have access to put put on armor to be stable inside these times to come. Right. So with that being said, I'm going to jump down. Um, yeah, I'm going to jump down to, uh, to 17. It says, son of man. I have made thee a watchman to the house of Israel, right? So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, right? It says, therefore, hear, thou, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me, right? And that's, that's what we're doing. We're being the voice box from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, we come in that spirit of Ezekiel, right? We sit on top of that watchtower, right? We, we, we watching the news and filtering them through the scriptures to, to let us know where we at, um, before we get up out of here, Lord willing, we're part of that remnant, you know? You know, I was talking to a sister earlier, and she was saying, like, you know, with the gods in Israel, how they all be going back and forth, it's been going on. But the thing is, right, the thing about it is, yes, that could be true. But the thing is, it's what's going on now with it. The thing that have been um, 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 ushered out now, you got, the MO, you got the MOTB on the table, you know, you got... Uh, uh, inflation and, and hyperinflation, you know, on the table now, you know, you, you got Jacob's trouble right here at the door. All right. So that's how you know that, Hey, we, we at the end of this thing, man. All right. So like I say, you know, Hey, that's why we, we preach this hot time to wake out of sleep with all these things going on. Right. Excuse me. I was watching the, um, the elder, um, elder brother, um, I'm going go bar. He was talking about how his videos, you know, was getting taken down. You know, so hey, here you have it. We have uh, also the family of the word right here. You know, going to be a time period where you will not be able to talk to the men of the Lord. Right. Get any type of advice, you know. Right. And it says, son of man, I have made thee a watchman. Right. So therefore, we the eyes for the um for the for, for the uh, for the nation. Right. We don't want to sit on that. You know, back in ancient times, you would sit on that high, that high, high tower and and. Hey, give them warning, you know, but a distinct sound, like, you know, hey, intruders finna come. They finna come siege it, man. And, and through the spirit, you know, it's finna happen again. You know, Esau finna come down with great wrath, right? It said, when, when, what it says in Isaiah, was it 50, 59? Man, I just want to just say it right quick. It's Isaiah 59, verse 16, if I'm mistaken. No. It's 50. 19. It's like you. It says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord, Yahweh from the west, 
and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. And what I want to just, you know, um, come from that point was, hey, you have, you have Bashim Rashad from that to the point where these, these folks from, you know, another siege from the command, man. They from, hey, looking, looking for the Israelites, man, mainly the elect. You know, but hey, what what will it be? What will it um help if you don't have no wisdom, knowledge, understanding, right? Because the Yahweh Shem is definitely going to lift up, lift up that standard for the elect. You know, that's the point I want to uh, bring out on that. But like I said, you know, time is running out. Time is short, right? You see things happening fast. The days going by even faster, right? Like 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 Yahweh Shem Asha said in Matthew twenty four. It wasn't for the elect's sake, man. You know, you got to, to speed up the days for the elect's sake. All right? But um, verse 18, Ezekiel 3 and 18. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. So that's, how, that's why we are here doing our job, man. Warning the wicked, man. Repent, 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 or die. You know, right? When when he's, when Yahweh Shemashah start putting the spirit on these Edomites and these heathens start bringing out these crucial judgments upon you know the people, you'll be caught up in it, man. Cause you heard the warning, right? You heard the warning, right? So like I said, hey, it's hot time to wake out of sleep, right? Um, I'm gonna grab that too, Lord willing. Uh. I just had it made Isaiah. That's what it was. You know, call all you how about show me your shot. Right? This is on the book of Isaiah 55, verse 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Right? And and we see, like I just mentioned, you know, we're the voice box of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. You know, we 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 clearly see that hey, the days are speeding up, right? Esau's getting more. He's cracking down more on brothers YouTube channels, you know, social media accounts, I'ma say, you know. Because we finna come to that time period where hey, you we we won't be near, right? He's gonna shut down uh he's gonna shut down um these these accounts, man. Right? We won't be able to preach in the streets no more. Wake up the uh the sheep, right? It says, seek you the Lord while he may be found, right? Indicating that hey, at some point in time, we will not be able to teach, man. And that's just the main point of this video, right? The time is running out to where you have access to brothers that want to help, man, right? These these are the real brothers that want to see you actually make it, man. These, see these other entertainers, they don't really care. They just want, they just want the money, you know? And they, they, they are making you drive towards a downward spiral, man, right? To be more clinged onto this world, right? We're trying to help you depart from this world, right? Because we know what's coming to it, right? The prudent man foresee the evil and hide from himself, right? The simple pass on and are punished. We know Babylon has to fall, you know? That that's, And that's what we are here trying to, you know, hey, help Jake understand, you know? The time is short, right? The door is finna close to where either you wanna get salvation or you wanna get the same punishment with the same man that, that raped, robbed, and murdered the people, man, right? Drunk in the whole world, <laughs> You know, those are two options, right? It says, seek you the Lord while he may be found and call you upon him while he is in it. And I also want to mention, hey, to be on to be on the side of Yahweh, or to be on the wrong side of Yahweh, is suicide, man. Yeah, he tell you, he, he, he's, um, Allah shot you, man. A demon-like power, right? When he, when it gets real bad, we have these aberrations, right? All these scary moves y'all be watching. Right? Just imagine how the time of Jacob's trouble the EMP strike didn't hit. You know? You're going to be seeing shit, man, with six faces on it, man. You know? You're just going to be seeing a lot of demon-like stuff. Right? But that's the Lord just, you know, hey, sending them towards you, man. Hey, teeth of wild beasts. Right? Those are options if you really, you know, so like if you want to see him go against you, how about you, man? It's going to be judgment, my bad. It says, seek you the Lord while he may be found. Call you upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way. And that's what it's all about, man. Forsake it, man. Right? If you, if, if you feeling good each and every day, and, and not in a spiritual way, but in a fleshly way, just know you you idle, man. You, you're comfortable, and that's not the spirit you want to be in. Right? Because, hey, you will be destroyed out here. 
You know, you will be destroyed, right? Because the Lord tell you in the book of Micah, um, two and ten, it says, "Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it's polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sword of destruction, right?" And people have gotten high, you know, in Babylon, man. They got drunk off Babylon, man. So pretty much, they don't they don't feel it no more. You know, they 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 boozed up. You know, they geek. So they, they, they don't feel it, man. And that's the wrong spirit to be in, right? This place is going in a downward spiral and you can't even, you can't even tell what's going on. That's the wrong spirit to be in, man. But it says, arise you and depart for this is not your rest, right? Our rest is it's the kingdom. That's when we're finally going to just, you know, take that deep breath, just, you know, that's when, that's when we're able to be comfortable. Until then, we got to keep going right now. Hey, we got to, you know, we got to put, keep putting on this armor. And for the one that's, you know, watching the videos, it's time to put on some armor, you know, and sharpen it up, right? Could be coming to a time where, hey, wisdom and not shall be stability, and I'm going to grab that next, right? It says, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sort of destruction. And we know that Esau is a cancer of the earth. Wherever he goes, death follows. Even though he he he's, uh, what it says in Job 9 24, the earth is getting to the hands of the wicked. Right. But I'm saying, you know, I'm, I'm pointing it out in America. Right. Because that's it's a lot going on in America. Right. The, America is more drunk than all the other nations. Right. But um, what I was saying was it said because it's polluted, it will show you it all. because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sort of destruction. Right. Because, hey, we know that Esau. Dang, I lost my train of thought. Ah, oh, that's crazy. Dang, what well, when it come back? Dang, I just lost my train of thought just that fast. And that's why we're trying to get up the hell up out of here, too. Damn body just breaking down. Right? <laughs> you know, but hey, we don't always keep the spirit upon us, though. Lord willing. Right? This is Isaiah 33, verse 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength the salvation, the fear of the Lord Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh is his treasure. Right? And that, that's beauty right now because what we're we doing, you know, uh, 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 returning back. You know, reading, studying, fasting, praying, you know, because what we what, what you want to be doing is trying to, you know, uh, damn, keep putting upon that armor, you know, each and every day. All right. Because in that time period of when hell breaking loose, you know, Jacob's trouble, which we can really see. I wouldn't be surprised if it happened on um, the end of the end of the fall season, beginning winter. You know, because that's how Esau eat him. Like he likes to move. He likes to move when Jake is not, not that comfortable. And they know that we don't deal with the the cold like that. You know, but it says, "And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times." Right? Knowing, knowing, uh, if the if they if they come to your house, you know, and they say come with us, we know that we have to go with them. You know, see it out, see it through. You know, we got scriptures to back that up. Revelation two and ten. You know, being inside these prison concentration camps. You know, we gonna, we we're not gonna be able to give, we're not gonna give in because why you got the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shah on you. You know, we know that some some brothers, you know, might have to be a martyr for Yahweh Shemel Shah, which is fine. You know, the dead shall rise first, right? But they just come to say, you know, with all these things going on, it's hot time to wake out of sleep, man. Right? And I'm gonna go ahead and grab that since I'm steady quoting it. Um, and I was finished with the Isaiah 55. I can go back to it. I, um, Romans 13, verse 11. It says, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Right? And and it was crazy because me and my uncle was just, you know, just uh, chopping up about this, you know. All these things going on with Israel and Gaza, you know, the Hamas. You got Jake over here worrying about some fucking Jada Pinkett and shit, her just making Will Smith look like a fool. This goes to show you why people's mind is at, man. Right? We at the brink of all hell breaking loose. And this is what's trending in America, man. You know? This is, this is how they keep Israel uh sleep, bread and circus, man. Give them distraction, watch them eat it up. You know? 
You throw a loaf of bread where a bunch of ravens at and just watch them go crazy. Or or pigeons, whatever. That's going to eat the bread. You know, just watch them go crazy, man. Whole time you line up from, the, you know, kill them all, man. That just goes to show you, man, hey, how people are, don't understand the time that they're in. Matter of fact, I want to grab that right quick. The book of Ecclesiastes 9 and 12. For man also know not his time as the fishes that are taken in an evil net and as the birds that are caught in the snare. So are the sons of men snared in an evil time when it follows suddenly upon them. Right. <clears throat> and the thing about it is Esau is just putting you in position to where you're going to fall. Why? Because you don't have to scrimp. Right. The mindset, the discipline enough to, 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 to go back to your power, which is, you know, his name is Yahweh. It's the Heavenly Father name, Yahweh Shah's only begotten Son of the world incorrectly called Jesus Christ. You know? So until hey, he don't he, he don't mind putting you up under that bait. You know, and what's that next bait gonna be? That that karagma. You know, and that's what he's doing. He's he's just baiting you up, setting you up, setting you up, and setting you up so you can fall inside that that one snare that you will not be able to get up out of. All right, so hey, like I said. It's high time. Right? Like I say, you know, people, they weren't about Jada Pickett and they weren't about trying to prosper inside this lifetime. Man, hell finna break loose, man. The dollar's finna crash, man. Fool finna go slap high. Right? But niggas, Jake steady want to listen to Joel Osteen and T.D. Jakes, right? When have your ass dead out here, man. Right, it says in that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is for now is our salvation there than we believe. And I wanted to mention was um um it's high time to wake out of sleep, right? It's time to get this bread while you can. Cause we know the time is short to a hey, we won't be out here uh, uh teaching. You know, the Lord gonna wrap this ministry up to where hey, we're gonna have to be tending to our own families, you know. We won't be out here to uh to teach to the masses no more. We won't be out here to teach to the uh to, to Israel, man, right? The elect will be sealed, man. Right? I'm going to grab that right quick. Right? Yeah, how about you, man? going to have to the point where we won't have... Uh, people going to be looking for us. Running around like a chicken with your head cut off, man. Especially there was a cause to EMP strike. <sighs> Slacking. It's Amos 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh. That I was in a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And I want to expound on that because hey, we know we come to that time where we won't be out here, right? And we all, and like he said in the context, he said he was in a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water. We know that thing will come anyway, right? That's going to come, hell, at the beginning stages, at the beginning stages of this war. You know, since America want to, you know, get his nose inside, you know what I'm saying, the God's in Israel business, right? That fan, that fool. It's like it's like it had, my phone had cut off, right? But um, back to what I was saying was in Amos 8 and 11, right? I said, behold, the, it says, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I would send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And like I was saying was, you know, a. With 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 America, you know, uh, getting set the business of Israel and um, Gaza, you know, that whole little situation over there, Hamas and all, you know, all of that, right? It's going to cause for you know food inflation, you know. So we already know food inflation is going to happen in America anyway, because it takes money to go to war. So all of the money going to be going towards that, right? But in this context, you know, it's going to be going more so of hearing the words of Yahweh Shemuel Shah. Which meaning the servants of prophets won't be around to teach, right? Give you answers about what's going on, right? It said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I was in a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And that goes to show you how much, how precious this, this word is going to be, right? Let's go some more into it. It says, And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. Right, you can be looking just like how the Edomite was on um the move with the Book of Eli. Man, we looking high and low for the word, man. 
right? And, that, and that's how two thirds are going to be out here. That, you know, for the ones that don't want to come out to your how about you, man? That's how you're going to be out here looking for this word high and low, right? We already told you, hey, they 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 gonna cut these uh, social media um, accounts, man. You know, so you won't be able to have access to, you know, a lot of people have brothers. You know, I mean, a lot of people have, you know, uh, a brother that's uh that's that's a prophet. You know, that's serving the Lord. You how about Shmuel Shah, and don't want to listen. You know, a uncle. You know, pops. You know what I'm saying? So. At a, at a certain period of time, right, you're going to be looking high and low for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. I mean, yeah, pretty much, yeah, which is going to be, you know, through us. And they shall wander from sea to sea and, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Right. Like I said, so like I was saying, that's how precious this word is going to be, man. You're going to be looking everywhere, man. Right. It says in the day shall the fair virgin and young men faint for thirst. Right. You're going to die. Why? Because you have no lack of knowledge. You know, you don't have no knowledge. Right. So therefore, you're not able to stand. You're not able to stand firm. Right. Inside the day of uh, calamity. You know, for presenting the, uh, the seed to you, you're going to take it because you don't have nothing to fall upon. Right. Um, I had another piece up in my head, but it just slipped away. All right. I'm going to end it off on this right here. Um. Uh, Ecclesiastes 5 or 7. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord, Yahweh Shah. And put not off from day to day. Right? Put not off from day to day. We see, like I said, how, how short time the days are, man. Right? Things are talk, being talked about every day. You got Amber Alerts going off every day. You got hella uh, 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 articles just dropping, man. Talking about this whole little, you know, war. Like I said, you got the Sea Hip. On the back burner, you know, all these things are in position and they're ready to fall out, man. They're ready to roll. You know, like the elders, like the um, the elder, you know, Tohar, um, stated, man, year 2023 20, could be, uh, hopefully, all the prophecies come to pass, you know. So, with that being said, we at the end of the year, right? And and this month is, you know, one of Esau's satanic, you know, they, they, they favorite uh, months. So, you definitely want to be trying to. Make your way towards your high by Shemiah was shot, man, before that door closed on you, man. Right? It says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, right? Tearing means to procrastinate, delay. It says, and put not off from day to day, right? Thinking, oh, these days won't come. These days are far off. Hey, you, you're, that, you can't go off your own opinion, right? It said, what it says in Proverbs 3 and 5, trust in the Lord with all thy, own, with all thy heart and lean out upon your own understanding. Right, because that goes to show you because you don't even see what's going on. You can't even discern the time. What you're trying to say, oh, it's not going to happen inside this lifetime. Right? It says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And he know, and he's going to come like a thief in the night. He's going to crank this up like a thief in the night. So it's better to get ready so you ain't got to be ready. So it's like it's, it's better to be ready now so you got to get ready when all hell breaking loose. Right? Because it's not going to benefit you then. Right? It's... it's it's time to get right now, right? Get get the, get all the armor you can right now. Put it on right now. Sharpen yourselves up for any times come. You got a way better chance than somebody that's just running around, like I said, in Amos uh, 8 and 11. You know, C to C, <laughs> looking for this truth, right? But it says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth in that security, right? That security, what's going what's gonna to keep you stable? Isaiah 33 and 6, right? Ephesians 6 and 12, 6 and 10, you know, on down. My brethren, be strong. You know, put on the whole armor of Yahweh by Shemi Shah, right? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability, right? It says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security. That shall be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance, right? With you having no type of protection, you know, you're going you're gonna to get mauled off the worst way, man. Right. So, Lord willing, you know, this this is uh, has been edifying, you know, just Lord willing to the point, you know, hey, it's not time to wake out of sleep. The time, the time is short. All right. So with that being said, we give our honor, glory and praises to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Krakadash. So next time I say Shalom.